Hey everybody, the Bog is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Star Trek 2 Zelda's Revenge brought to you by GamingOne.com. If you saw in the last part, I got thrust into a time, picked up an axe, and now I'm on a rescue mission to save some kids from a monster. Yep. So much can happen in 9 minutes of recording, I can tell you that much right now. Oh great, now I gotta fight some boars. And instead of using a yo-yo, I'm actually throwing axes around. So yeah, unlike Star Tropics 2, which I'm going unlike Star Tropics 1, I meant to say, you can actually move diagonally in this. And plus your jumping is a lot more controlled. Like remember in Star Tropics 1, you can only jump straight forward. Not in this game. It's a little bit easier to move around. And some jumps might be a bit more complicated when it comes to controlling yourself. So try your best to be careful. Otherwise, you're going to make an unfortunate tumble into the water. Okay, one of these things look like the Dongos. Okay, just a bunch of boars, nothing too special. But I mean, at least you can attack diagonally, too. I think that's pretty cool. Ah, damn it, the phone. Time out. Okay, I'm back. That was a very long phone call. But there, I'm back in the game. Let's do this. Ah, cheap shot. Like, why would you put an enemy right there? And I had no time to react. Oh well, we put you so. And again, I didn't really sew anything. Oh my god, it's a bear! Kill it. Oh wait, bats I hate the most, not bears. I can tolerate bears, but bats, fuck them. Okay, just gotta do some jumping here. I don't want to fall off, otherwise I have to go all the way around again. <laughs> like, you gotta love these old boar sprites. They actually got these holes in their assholes. That, that's pretty. That's a pretty unique touch. I didn't think Nintendo would go that far. Then again, this game was made in 1994. I think it was around the time the ESRB was already made. Um, do I want to go this way, left or right? Huh. Looks like there was actually a medicine that I could have grabbed, but I missed. I think there was like a hidden passage or something. Oh, I forgot! But apparently there was one hidden that I could have gotten to. And that's right, you actually gotta hit the walls to find hidden passages. This can be very annoying. Uh oh, there's a new enemy. It looks like a, a bottle snowman kind of thing. I don't know what it is. It looks like a freak. Yeah, so... Let's just kill it. My big supply of axes. I just wish she could tell you, like, where you can find a secret passage. So I would like to find one if there's actually a good way to get some health. Oh well. Let's move on. Okay, here's a pallet swap already in the game. This bear is a lot tougher. Oh great, now you gotta fight three of them. They're not wasting any time with ya. Okay, that's one. I wouldn't exactly call it a mid-boss, I think it's just more like a tough enemy. Not much else to say about it. Hey, hey, get away from me! I don't have your honeycombs. Okay, this is where the puzzle comes to fruition. Circle, circle. Um, triangle? Square. Circle. Um, just in case I fuck up, I'm gonna go with triangle. Oh, I fucked up. But yeah, believe it or not, if you make one mistake, you go back to the beginning of the entire dungeon. I'm dead serious. That's why you have to go through all that to memorize that entire drawing. Otherwise, you'd be doing backtracking nonstop. 
and you don't want to do that. Because that would just slay you. I want to take out these boars, see if anyone will drop some health for me. Health is pretty scarce in this game, unfortunately. Same with hints for secret passages. Oh, time to take on the first boss. Yum yum. I snack on that board with you and I'll just keep hacking away, hacking away. I'll just keep hacking, enjoy your meat. And I killed you. Wow. Easiest first boss ever. Yeah, if I killed that boar by mistake, Yum Yum would actually be a lot harder. That is why it's best to avoid that boar at all costs. So you can have an easier boss battle. Very pathetic. Ah, oh, there's a kid. Oh my god, they're so fat. Thank you, I'm Shorty. You already showed him, Mike. We want to go for sure. Yum Yum was trying to fatten us up. Yeah, like your story. For supper! You speak to him. You're Picasso's son. I'm sure he'll talk again. Now hurry back and surprise your parents. Go on! Wait, surprise? Uh, okay, I just noticed the spelling error. Shouldn't be S U R P R I S E, not S U P. Go back and surprise. Like, what the hell? Nice going, Nintendo. No wonder Star Trek students so well. I believe in all of the spelling error. Pick up a block. Huh? Okay, I'll just move on then. Okay, now what? Mike, can you hear me? Mike, can you hear me? Phew, I found you! Mike, I've been looking everywhere! Dr. J told me what happened! Mike, listen, you traveled back in time! No, really? I, I thought I was in Chicago, Illinois. They're pretty laid back and... Well behind times. Nah, just kidding. My father, Hirokan, must have known something about what might happen. I'm sure Hirokan meant wanted you to find the mystic tetrads. The tetrads were hidden on Earth, somewhere in time. Like the legacy of the Argonians. Mike, please help us find the tetrads. Do you understand? Yes. I can't talk anymore today. That's all for now, Mike. Okay, tetrads. I believe it's one of those Tetris pieces. Michael, wait! Disconnected. Tetrads? It's a tetrad. Wait, look at the block. That's it. I already have a tetrad. Yep, and every time you get a tetrad, I think every time you get a tetrad, you get a health upgrade. You need them all, too. Tetrads, I mean. You decide to use the Oxford Wonderworld again. Turn the page and say the magic words. How does he actually remember that? I'd probably be spouting random shit and probably get myself ripped inside out and nailed to an upside down cross with a board and licking my testicles off. That would be a pretty bad spell. To actually have those three things happen to you simultaneously. Okay, where am I gonna end up now? What time period? Oh gee, I wonder where I'm to. Where am I? Wow, pyramids, a sphinx. This has got to be Egypt. Or the Discovery Channel. Decide to look around. Okay, let's look around. Okay, watch this. I can be going like this forever. Watch this. I can be stretching for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. Now what happens I go up? Yeah, it's as if I never moved at all. It's kind of like the infinite stairway in Super Mario 64 if you don't have 70 stars. It works exactly like that. Except you don't have Bowser taunting you every once in a while. Well, usually at the beginning. But yeah, I think I'm going to stop here. Next part, we're going to explore ancient Egypt. See you later, everyone.